It's that time of year. No, not Christmas. It's cyberpunk season. So I did what any rational gamer would do. I decorated my apartment with neon lights, painted my face like a cyborg, and did a side mission to Macy's to secure a Keanu sweater. <laughs> All three objectives were perfectly achieved, except the most important one, approval from my wife. Yeah, she wasn't a huge fan, so we compromised. We draped the Christmas tree with strobing red RGB lights to match my rocket Vulcan keyboard, baby. So I could say, close enough, right? <laughs> By the way, thanks, Rocket, for the Christmas presents, as well as sponsoring tonight's show. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Chris Puckett, broadcasting again from Reuters Studio in a wintry New York City in Times Square. The Gamer Hour is here, ready to spread the holiday cheer, and what better way of doing that than me dropping into a map full of strangers, wearing a gingerbread skin, and blowing up snowmen with C4. <laughs> if that doesn't tickle your beard, then how about guns that shoot candy canes and marshmallows? Oh, all right, I know they're not actually in the game yet, but they should be. And you know what else should be? Replacing quad bikes with reindeer, so we can all sing Hufflepuff Dragon 629 got ran over by a reindeer. <laughs> You're welcome, Grandma. You dodged a reindeer this time, and a bullet on that one. <laughs> but before I pop off and show you all how me and my guests get it done in-game, we gotta talk about cyberpunk. Yes, the long-anticipated game is finally out, but it's experiencing multiple issues on all gaming platforms. The game has been crashing, bugging out, failing to render, and what's worse, sometimes it's not even loading in. The worst issues definitely appear to be on the older generation consoles, with Xbox One and PS4 making the game nearly unplayable. Yeah, see? I told you we should have pushed back the release, too. <gasps> Guys, guys, it's okay. We know they'll fix it in 2077. <laughs> Isn't that great, though? You're on PlayStation 4. You want to be playing on PlayStation 5, but you can't because they're out of stock everywhere. So you finally buy the game you've been waiting for what feels like a decade, and when you boot it up, it dies right before you. All that wait, all that time, just for it to go kaput. Reminds me of being in sixth grade where we finally got access to the school computers and I installed WoW for the first time. It killed the computer, the school server, and my allowance. All gone in the blink of 100 gigabyte download. <laughs> At that moment, you have two logical choices. Scream and throw the console out the window, or two, switch to PC. <laughs> Both are fine too, especially in that order. Microsoft is just grateful it's not them this time around because they are all too familiar with the words, boot it up, dies right before you. <laughs> and speaking of Microsoft, Halo Infinite has been delayed to fall of next year, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! I get it, I want my Master Chief just as much as you do. The game has been shepherded in by creative director Joseph Staten, who has played through the campaign twice and was stunned by this being the most expansive world of Halo yet, full of wonder and freedom. First off, Joseph, I hope you've played the game at least twice. You built the thing. <laughs> Second, why only twice? Not three, four, a hundred, two thousand times? To make sure everything's in order, you know, no glitches, no bugs, no netcode issues. Oh, two times we'll do it? Got it. Third, calling this the most expansive Halo yet, just because you can go back and revisit places you once were, doesn't make it the most expansive Halo. It makes it the most repetitive one. <laughs> Was that Cortana? Oh shit, we missed a shard two miles back. No, 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 no need to quit out. We don't have to restart at the checkpoint. We can walk. In other FPS news, PUBG added a new map called Haven that's unlike any other PUBG map before. Yeah, get this. The map has AI enemies defending key locations, and when alerted, these enemies can call in support through a spy helicopter that will spot you, track you, and call in a tactical vehicle to hunt you down. I'm not making this up. It looks like the devs have been playing one game a little bit too much during lockdown. <laughs> or should I say a whole franchise too much? One franchise I can't get enough of, though, is Spider-Man. 
Yes, the new Spider-Man game Miles Morales has received a new performance mode on the PS5, which enables 60 frames per second gameplay with ray tracing. Before this, players had to choose between 30 FPS with ray tracing or 60 FPS with no ray tracing. The new mode enables both. Pretty great, right? Upon hearing this exciting news, PC gamers responded with, hold my GPU. <laughs> Speaking of PC, you've got a chance of scoring 10% off all of your PC gear thanks to our friends at Rocket. We'll tell you more about that later in the show, but first, we have to introduce you to tonight's guest. He's the star wide receiver for the Carolina Panthers, the college football national champion of 2015. Please stand, rise, or sit if you're already wedged into the couch, and give it up for Curtis Samuel. Rocket, thanks for sponsoring today's interview. Curtis, welcome to the Gamer Hour, man. So glad to have you. I'm um, uh, grateful for having me today. It's going to be a blast. Now, Curtis, before we jump into it, you told the world the best way to eat a biscuit. What's going on here? Hi, I'm Curtis Samuel from the Carolina Panthers. And the best way to eat your Bojangles steak biscuit is with grape jelly. It's old time. Oh, I'm the, the, the Bojangles steak biscuit. The best way to eat a biscuit, you got to add the grape jelly. It's bow time. Now, I totally understand the grape jelly, but is Bojangles actually better than Popeyes? Because I'm a Popeyes guy. Bojangles is better than Popeyes. Sorry. It's official. There you have it. Well, Curtis, I grew up in Ohio, moved to New York City to pursue my broadcasting career, but you grew up in New York City and then moved to Ohio to pursue your football career. I felt like I upgraded and you had to downgrade there, but only one of us has a national championship. So what was it like playing with the Buckeyes, man? It was amazing. A great career, you know, um, being around a bunch of great guys, uh, great coaching, uh, great coaching staff. You know, uh, my first year, I was fortunate enough to be a part of a national championship. Um, you know, a kid from Brooklyn, you can only dream of those things. So I was fortunate enough to uh, be able to ex experience that. I know my whole family are fans. So am I, dude. So it's great to have you on the show. But speaking of OSU, that place is filled with great places to eat. My favorite was Buckeye Donuts. What was your go to while you were in school? Uh, Buckeye Donuts. I there went there we for go. breakfast. <laughs> it was a, a, a great place. What, did, did you have like a, a normal order? Did they know your face when you came in there and have it ready for you? Um, no, nah, not really. I switched it up every once in a while. Every once in a while. Well, now you're down in Carolina, so I need to know, once we can travel again, where is the place to eat in Carolina? Um, that's tough. There's a bunch of uh, different steakhouses down here. Um... Chima, I, I believe that's Brazilian steakhouse, so I, I go there pretty often. I can feast with you. I'm down for that. Now, throughout your career, we've all seen some ridiculous catches, and this year's absolutely no different. You caught 88% of all the passes thrown to you, which puts you amongst the highest percentage in all of the NFL. Are all these years of playing Madden paying off now, or do you just have a special connection with Teddy this year? Uh, I believe it's a special connection with Teddy. Um, you know, my thing is taking advantage of each opportunity that you get. You know, um, there's only one ball on the field. So, you know, the quarterback trusts you. you um, he throwing the ball your way, so he figured you could make something happen for him. Well, we see that every week. Now, our last guest's favorite game was Mortal Kombat. But in your pre-screening, you said you had a different fighting game growing up. Tell me about Def Jam Fight for New York. How did this game get you hooked? <laughs> um, I was a big PS2, uh, PlayStation 2 guy growing up. Um, you know, unfortunately, I made a switch to Xbox, but Def Jam Fight for New York, you know, it's like you listen to these artists, these rappers, and then you get to play an actual fighting game. You know, imagine a football fighting game. I think everybody will play it, right? So um, it was it was great for me to uh, play that game growing up. Who was your go-to player? I know you had to have a favorite rapper or music artist. Did you pick the same guy? Who was it? Um, Who was it? It probably was Snoop Dogg. It probably was Snoop Dogg. He had that reach, man. Busta Rhymes versus Flavor Flav, though. I get, like, Mortal Kombat. You got Scorpion versus Sub-Zero. But Flavor Flav has no chance. Did you ever play as Flavor Flav in the clock? 
<laughs> no, I never played as as favorite player. I actually uh, played against him a bunch because one of my best friends, he always used him. So I had Snoop Dogg, you know, beating him up. There you go. Well, one of the best parts of this game was taking on the final boss. Talk to me a little bit about facing off against Snoop Dogg in the campaign mode. How many times did it take you to finally beat him? Uh, it took me a bunch of times. Uh, I believe you fight him in a warehouse where the warehouse start burning down and everything. You got to throw him out the window. Um, it was it was crazy, you know, because I, I always play games on the hardest level. You know, I wanted more of a challenge. So, you know, it took me a couple of times. I probably broke a couple of controllers, but we're good now. I love that. You can afford them now. Well, that game came out in 2004, but now it's 2020. If you had to take the same rappers and have them in their current state, who would be the new final boss? Or is it still Snoop Dogg on the throne? Um, nah, it can't be Snoop Dogg. The final boss, I think it will be probably Lil Baby because he's hot right now. There we go. I like that pick. Well, back then you were on the console playing on the PS2. Now you're on the PC and working in the industry. I thought I had a badass rig until I saw yours on Twitter. Tell me about this bad boy. Uh, you know, Falcon Northwest um, blessed me with this uh, beautiful PC. You know, I, I, I wanted to make the switch. I play a lot of shooting games, you know, a lot of action games. So I figured I'd make the switch, you know, um, get better FPS, you know, that stuff that I'd be listening to on Twitch that I never really honest, really understood. Yo, it's great to see they hooked you up with one of the best I have seen yet. Now, most of the pros we've talked with, uh, they get maybe four hours a day in gaming, even during the off season. But your off season schedule consists of gaming seminars that are up to 10 hours. Dude, what are you grinding during that time? Um, I could literally wake up in the morning in the off season, brush my teeth, get myself together, get myself ready. And I throw the game on. I can literally play the game from 10 to probably 2 in the morning. I, I'm telling you, it's more than 10 hours. But I know that's not healthy, so I got to kind of wind back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got to move the blood through the legs every once in a while to right, get a sandwich right. or a new <laughs> glass of water. But I'm with you. I love the marathon sessions. What's your favorite game to, to play during those? Are you playing the same title? Are you mixing it up on stream? What's your go-to? Uh, we switch it up. Uh, we play Call of Duty. Uh, big Call of Duty fan. Um, uh, 2K. Uh, that's probably really only two games we'd be playing. You know, we grinding in the park, man. Right? And that was the city, so keep putting that time in. Speaking of Call of Duty, are you playing the campaign? Are you a multiplayer guy? Do you have a favorite COD? Tell me about this franchise. Uh, my favorite Call of Duty was Call of Duty 4. My favorite Call of Duty. I think that's when they introduced uh, Shipment. Um, you know, big MP5 guy. Uh, Red Tiger. You know, you, you needed the headshots to, to get your gun golden. I was a big uh, Call of Duty 4 guy, and I stand by it. Did you get your golden guns? Oh, absolutely. You know, I was one of those kids that stayed up all night trying to get that gun. There you go. I, I, that just is a sign that you are an actual player and an OG. Shout out to all the gold gun havers out there. We wasted so much time together. Uh, but look at, <laughs> look at NBA 2K. Outside of the Lakers, who is the most overpowered squad in the game? Probably the Clippers. Probably the Clippers. Um, they just got so many different weapons. You know, they bench. You know, not a lot of teams in 2K have a bench. You know, nobody really run with it. So when that time do come when your starters get tired and you need a bench to come in the game, the Clippers will just destroy you. 30 points, zero. The, the Madden pros are notorious for making those swaps, putting linemen into fullback positions. Is there anyone that you need on the court at all times? Who's your favorite player in the game? Oh, LeBron James. He could do everything. You put him at point guard. You know, everybody else point guard probably 6'3", 6'4". You put LeBron, LeBron in the game, 8. You know, a six eight. You know, you you run five hour offense, and you just abuse the point guard. <laughs> Fifty percent chance of hitting it from half court. It's just not fair. I played. I think it was episode three. I got the Lakers, and I just felt bad. You can't miss shots with that man. Oh no, not not at all. Well, uh, currently we are looking at the end of the fantasy football season for a lot of players. They're in their playoffs, going into the finals, maybe. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford you in my auction league. So let me ask: a lot of players, some love it. Some absolutely hate it. Where do you stand on fantasy football? Um, I'm not a big fantasy football guy. I never, I never got caught up, uh, caught up on that, even before I, I made it to the NFL. Um, you know, I stay out of that. You know, it gets, I feel like it, it, could, it could get too much in your head. You know, it makes you want to do a little too much. Um, you know, I stay away from all that and just try to stay focused on the game. I like that. Any, any messages to the people who have been sending you stuff on Twitter, bugging you on Instagram about fantasy, or you just uh, ignore them completely? 
Uh, I, I really don't pay too much att uh, attention to it because, I mean, you know, when you're doing good, social media is great for you. But when you're struggling a little bit, it could be a little tough. So I'd rather just when I'm doing good or when I'm doing bad, I'd rather just stay away. Well, even if you avoid it, I have to thank you for putting up some big numbers in a few of my other leagues. Not the big one. Couldn't get you there, but I know I'm drafting you in the Dynasty League. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your Ohio State days. We've got some questions from the community. This first one's from Bricks. How was the transition from playing for Ohio State to the NFL? Was it a significant change for you? Oh, absolutely. You know, just because of my position that I played at Ohio State, you know, I was a, a hybrid guy, you know, um, I played running back, receiver, you know, those different things. But one thing you got to know is that some routes in college and the NFL are totally different. You know, I really made that jump to play receiver my sophomore year in college, you know. So making that jump to the NFL was totally different. I had to learn how to run routes, come in and uh, understand how to get in and out of my routes fast. You know, just little details like that just made that transition to receiver. So many of your former teammates are now in the NFL with you, but not necessarily on your team. If you could steal a Buckeye off of any of the other 31 NFL teams, who would you grab? That's tough. Come on. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> it's Chase oh. Young. It's an easy answer, isn't it? Nah, nah, I can't necessarily. I got to go with like one of my brothers, one of my best friends, uh, Terry McLaurin, who I received for the Redskins. There we go. The man is so good, especially if you play with him in Madden. He's a guaranteed touchdown every time you throw it to him. Awesome to watch him on the real field as well. But this next question comes from Brosit. What's your favorite part of Carolina now that you're here? And uh, as someone who went to New York and went to school in Ohio, what's different about Carolina that you like? Uh, you know, Carolina just... Uh, it's slower here. You know, being in New York City at nighttime is never quiet. Nope. Never quiet. <laughs> Out here, you got peace and quiet. You can lay down, you know, so you hear the crickets, you hear the little birds chirping. You know, that's that's something different, you know, just for me to experience out here. Um, uh, Probably different uh, food places out here. Uh, I think the food out here is, is, is really good. You know, it's really nice people in North Carolina, and it's a great place. What's your go-to meal after after a big game? I probably shouldn't say, <laughs> but uh, I'm a big Caribbean guy. I love, I love oxtails, love oxtails. Caribbean food hits the spot. We've got some great spots in New York, like Sophie's. If you haven't tried it out, guys, come to New York, eat Sophie's. Uh, Smurf Honey Go wants to know, as a professional athlete, do you have any advice for aspiring pro gamers or e-athletes in regards to practice habits and improving? Um, I say, uh, just keep on working at it, you know, just as much with anything as football. You know, I relate football with anything, you know. For me to get to where I'm at today, I had to grind. I had to put in extra hours. You got you to gotta sacrifice, you know. Some things you got to understand what's good for you and what's not good for you. You know, same thing with gaming. You got to put in that time. Well, you've always wanted to meet Pokimane. I see you grinding on Twitch all the time yourself. So how would you like to play with her tonight? Ain't no way. <laughs> what? You ready right, to play right? with her? Absolutely. What? Oh, Sorry, buddy. It's not happening. I, can't, I had to do it to you. You're stuck with just me, but don't worry. Together, we're taking on the latest and greatest modes in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I feel like a bad person. Curtis, strap on your rocket headset. It's time to shake and bake, baby. It's game time. Rocket, thanks for being our ears out here tonight. So, Curtis, how's your Cold War game? You pretty good at this? I'm pretty good. Um, you know, put me in the sticks. Give me a controller. I carry. I like that because uh, I'm pretty bad and I don't have any guns unlocked. So you're ready to backpack, right? Hey, don't worry about it. I got you. I'm used to it. There we go. Before we hop in, I present to you the official Rocket Challenge. Our challenge is to win three out of the five multiplayer games we're playing tonight or come out with a 2.0 or higher KD and blame our teammates. Easy enough, right? Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> All right, if we succeed, Christmas is coming early to all of you viewers. Rocket is handing out those promo codes for 10% discounts off of all of our products. So cheer us along as we play. Let's get into it right now. It's game time. Can we hear your radium? Oh, yeah, I see people. I see people. All right, inside, inside a D house, they're weak and blue. Weak inside blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's people over there. Watch out. It's people over there. Oh, out back. I got shots in them. Dead. Don't worry about it. Going inside the house. 
Leveling up the AK as we go. Let's get it. Above you, button dropping behind you, David. Help me out. I'm out of ammo, and I'm pinched by two. Nice, nice. Come get me up after that kill. Let's go, baby. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Behind you, behind you. Don't worry about me. Oh, okay. Behind us, David. It's a sniper. He's weak. Get down. I'm going to go steal his gun. One more here, Dave. Oh, Spikes just landed. It's pistol Spikes versus two players. I do not like this. <laughs> just clean them up. Grab the uranium. There's two back there. Two back there. Uh, I, I, I can spawn on you, Curtis. Here we go. Just stay up. We're crushing the D site. D site hey, is ours. I told y'all. Just, just, I got y'all. Don't worry about it. Just let me, you know, do my thing. Let's mm -hmm. go. Well done. There's crates, by the way, that we can open up for a lot of uranium. I watched a YouTube video. I know what's up. <laughs> oh, you have cover me, Curtis. I'm getting them. I'm running them over. <laughs> can you blow up the bike on him? There's one to the right here. I doubt. I, 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 yeah, I doubt one of them. I doubt one of them. Two, two, two behind you. Back up if you can and stay alive, David. Curtis just fell. I can self revive. I can self revive. I can self revive. No, you guys are done. All right, I'm just I'm just forcing my own drop. No, don't worry about it. Oh, it's, it's crazy over here. It's crazy over here. It's crazy. It's crazy over here. <laughs> Bad idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm still going. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Somebody's. There's people everywhere. <laughs> yeah, this is not cool. Dude, there's people in choppers. I'm not liking this. I have like 82,000 uranium though. No, ran out of mouse. Oh, wait, what up, behind you? There's so much uranium at sea site if we can somehow win this. Yeah. You, you got this, David. Fine. Yeah. Oh, Get those there's a guy standing up right in front of me. Mm hmm. All right, I can't spawn on you, so I'm just going to drop in. I'm 12 and 3 right now. They're on I'm sea roof, on right sea now, roof of red. Top red. Oh my gosh, there's a thousand of them over there. Oh. Ping him if you can. I got the guy upstairs. Or do I? Nope, he's got oh. a good gun and I've got a level one gun. Nice job, bud. Champion you are. Look at this pole! Oh. You're not even shooting at me! <laughs> yeah, they're they're by really too cool. There's two people outside of the sea area. From mid, from mid and top red. Top red in the window, I think. Yeah. Goku's one shot up in the window. Upstairs, red. Somebody, somebody, somebody's by me up top. Oh my gosh, those are the dirty bomb. I'm grabbing the whip. Wait, they got a bow on the arrow? Can someone be on my uh, gunner? I got a, I got a bow and arrow. Hold on, let me see what I can do with this. Yo, get it done. Oh, we... let me see something. Where are we going, fam? Okay. Whoa! There's a lot of people over there. Dave, straight ahead. Uh, I think one just dropped here. I'm not sure though. I've, I lost him. Sorry. Woo! They're behind the boxes. That's I'm, mine. I'm, I'm burning That's one. That's critical of them. damage. I killed us. My bad. <laughs> Oh! Driving! Oh. Not my strength. Shooting, I feel better at that one. My bad, hey, David. Hey, you probably gotta leave the cars alone. Let's go, let's, let's, let's go to D. Let's go to D. Oh, there's people here. There's people here. Two, two in the trees with me. Got one. I got a lot of uranium. Come with me to D. I'm over here. I don't see any plagues. Oh, somebody's shooting at us, all right? Yeah, they oh. are. Ain't no way. I'm about to say, no way. No way that guy did. No way. Come on, bro. All right, I got it up. I got it up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm getting shot at. Where from? Where from? Oh, yeah, that's not good. Behind us. Okay, so they're out on the perimeter, left side. Oh, behind us, behind us. Oh, they are. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh. One more drop. There's one more right drop. One, one going into the tent. Other side. I got him too. Oh, I'm down though. I need, I need healed on the bomb. Don't do it. You'll just blow up, I think. 
<laughs> Yo, we look good though. We look good. We jumped up into second place. We're now just 27 points behind him. We got this. Don't judge me, YouTube comments. I can't do math, but it's all good. I don't see I anyone. Don't. I'm running through the woods. I don't see anyone. Oh yeah, up here, um, like 182. 182? Yeah. Like up this hill, like there's, there's a bunch of them out there. All right. So that, so that, right, right, right when you get to the top. A right next to us, Dave. On the point, might be more here. I'm grabbing his gear and I'm running straight to the deposit. Spy plane established overhead. All right, I oh. see two over this way. Whoa! <laughs> I need one more. I need one more drop of uranium to launch this bomb. They're all by A. I see so many by A. Hey, we almost in first place. Or we gotta find a box. We just gotta find a box and we got this detonation. Vehicle asset in your AO. I wanna find some plates. Oh! Can you stay alive, Kurt? I'm coming. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I got XP. First of all, he ran me over with a motorcycle. What a jerk. I got I got your revenge, though. Don't worry. We wrecked him. I'm coming back. All right, what bomb site we need to go to? I got two bites here if you land on, on me. I'm going to land it right now. Do we get it at D? <laughs> I'm going to try and get the D and detonate. Is F not the same button to get on and off? If not, fix that, Treyarch. Wrecked. Guys, we're close. We look good. Assault. Assault. I'm taking one of these little snow bikes. Make those zones ours. Definitely called a right. snow bike. I, I, it's the proper English term for it. Mm. So let's see if I get 30 kills this guy. You dropping 30 bombs? I'm, I'm gonna see. All right, I'm, I'm using the full stuff ops. Nay! There's uh, no armor in this game mode. <laughs> We're not the hard way. Yo, what is our teammate doing? Just sitting in spawn, scoping. Oh my oh, I see now. I done. see now. Yeah, I'm running. Yeah. I think we need to flank like right, you know? But definitely. True, true. Not. Straight on is not a good idea. I, I hear that. Come on, Protecting man, three kills. Mark. Guys, we have a Come tank on. just chilling. I'm y'all in the tank and I'm over here carrying. Continue. We're capturing the zone. Oh, y'all over there by the zone. I'm over here at the spawn, that's why. I'm over here trying to spawn kill. Oh. I have no idea where from. Oh, he's running out, out in the open here. Oh, yup, 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 yup. There's a lot of them over there. Keep it up. Oh, I have no ammo. Oh, this sucks. Oh, no! Objective is secure. Critical damage. Oh, God. Run! Not back into it! I'm the worst! I have the worst at getting out of vehicles, I swear. Okay. <laughs> I don't know whether to tap the button or hold the... Or hold the extra. I'm in it. Nice job, Buckeye! Buckeye fan 007's clutching up. Does he know Curtis is in the game? Hey, I seen that too. I said, hey, what's the odds, right? Like what? All right, so how I use this mobile? Momentum increasing. Oh, momentum is increasing. Oh, All right, push oh, now. No, no, no. Our tank just oh, spawned. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. I'm throwing nades at it. That's not good. Don't worry, Cuban. You just sit there and slowly walk with your sniper rifle out. That'll work. Bro, they gotta have a spy plan. Like, you just hard aiming around corners. Like, bro, come on. Come on, bro. We, like, that's what we doing, bro? Come on, come on. Drive the enemy from the zone. All right, let's go. Oh, it's all right. No, 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 no. Yo, these tanks are dirty. They've oh got a God. tank. Which sniper, David? Can you ping him on the map? I'm fighting a tank, I'm gonna die. This guy's one of the tanks. There's a lot of them over there, too. There's a lot of them over there. They're all just sitting back sniping. Man. Right? Everyone's sniping. And I've got a weak ass AR and you can't open that door. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't I don't have the class right now, but I don't, I don't have the class. He's right, right side, left side, sniping to snipe, snipe. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, we're good. All right, I'm sniping. I'm sniping. I'm using a regular sniper. That they I'm just gonna follow Buckeye fan. He's the goat. Everybody's gonna sit, sit, and snipe and camp. Oh yeah, let's have fun. Oh yeah. I'm about to get on a, uh, They're assaulting the final zone. This is it. Oh, All or nothing. What the? Mine's what bigger! The... Alright, chopper's down. What was that that I just... <laughs> Hunter requesting spy plane. What was that? Oh, okay. Keep up the pressure. Push them back. Care package available for tasking. I'm not gonna lie, David. I'm baiting you. Find them for me. All right, I'm gonna go for the tank behind us, guys. If anyone's got a rocket, pull it out. I don't. Right. Curtis is the oh, tank. Bye. Good luck. Oh, oh, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Got him. Got him. Got him. You, you, you blow it up. Down. Camp, 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 camp. I think I think we just need this one, right? I believe. Let's go. Let's push them. If they got snipes out, that means we can take point up close. Make the final zone out. Oh, they're sniper. Yeah. Oh man. I should have got a flash. Do I have a flash? What do I have? I take oh, two for one sniper. Frank the tank. I hate you. We need to get that. We need to get that. Alright, do you guys have smokes or anything? I'm just trying to smoke them. Uh, that stuns, unfortunately. As I find out on the pre made class. I'm, I'm, I'm laying down. Alright, right turrets now. down, turrets down. I'm right behind you, David. Let's take this. To your right. He's connected. Ah, top of the train, top of the train, left side, and. Oh my. Yo, 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 I can't. I can't. I got, I, I got a snipe. I can't. This is, this I gotta is, get back. All right, boys. One point for all the marbles. I'm ready. Extending mission time. Wait, hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. I got the wrong brakes. You can't ride with me. Uh. Get out there and take that. Zone. Oh, there's a. <laughs> Screw that. I'm going tank. Yeah, you can't be my gunner, bro. Straight ahead, straight ahead. I'm about to get a uh, home over here. It's alright, it takes him a minute to get there. Okay, I killed two of them inside. From uh, up top, we gotta get out there. I'm getting in the tank. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. I, 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 think, I think we're about to win. Aren't yeah, we win? got three. Curtis has up. got it with me. Curtis, I'm getting shot from the left. Keep running. Hold on. Let me get a shot, guys. Oh, they're pushing. They're pushing. They're we're pushing. in. We're in. We're in. He's door. He's door. Oh, no. What are you doing? What nice. You doing? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. This is our house. All right. We got the dub. We're gonna keep going. Oh. I'm gonna put the AK up for a little bit and I'm gonna try this break six right now. There we go. I'm taking E right away. Actually, I should have oh, bikey oh, boy. Was more, oh, was more points. Oh. You guys can keep going, David. I'll take this. Oh, right in front of us, right side, David. You see that? I stunned him. Ooh, we died quick. They're all on the right side. They got there fast. All right. I don't know if it's worth fighting that. We should probably be able to defend E pretty easy. No, we're, we're good. We're good. They just got the, um, they got some good points right now. Told us. All right, watch out for the warehouse. There's two people in here earlier. Nice picks. I got top watched. Yeah, we get to keep pushing left. 
Mother yep, yep. We're all rolling left. All rolling left. Oh, Spice on right outside. Right outside. Right outside. Doo -doo. Oh, he's laying down. He's laying down on the floor. All right. What's going out. Wrecked. They're by the uh, tank up on D already. Top mid. We're going to roll. Oh my gosh, it's grass. I can't see. See, this is why I hate oh, this. Oh, oh. Freaking bush hiders rolling. All right, I got the guy by the tanker. Uh, I'm getting attacked from the right got all the points. I feel like that Call of Duty noob right now. I'm going left. Oh, no, that Christmas noob. Head glitch, right side. Right, He's right. weak. I don't have enough ammo in my clips. Let's go. Yeah, we're pushing about this arm. About this arm. Reload time to take forever. I just, I just got blasted from the sky. That's fun. Like, we taking uh, over everything. Yeah, yeah. C is weak, though. C is weak. If we can keep pushing it, dude. Come here, you hold that. Is he in the bushes? Okay. All right. Nice nade. I understand now. That makes sense. Hold that. Oh, I'm at B. <laughs> Grenade out. I'm at B right now. Oh, man. I didn't push this up. Come on. Come on. I got three off of C. They're spawning up, though, and just flooding it. <laughs> got a sky plane. Can you guys help me C? I'm pretty sure we can take it here. Yeah, I'm. I'm That's a big bomb. He just now. took out the two people covering it. Nice job. Let's they go. push towards D. I'm running as fast as I can. I got B, guys, while you were all focused on D. We're behind them. We got this. Locked. All right. Spy planes up. Call one in if you got it. Let's try and make it a VSAT. Nice stuff. Let's go. All good right. Job, good job, good job. I got wiped off a of B, but keep flooding that Ice left window. side if you can. Oh, Flood all the way left. Give him C. Give him. He's in a window on the right the side. Water. Right. Hey, did you get this guy over here? No, he's still up. Throwing stun. Throwing stun. Flashbang incoming. All right. I think some. Oh, the whole. Yeah, it's, it's a bunch of my D. The whole. Whole lobby over there. I'm securing C. Oh, Yo, oh my God! <laughs> get killed, kid. Get destroyed, kid. Coming up left side of D. Left side of D. Inside the warehouse. They're gonna be at warehouse window. I'm on B side with our dude. Let me take this objective. Oh man. They sniped me. Oh, give me something good. Give me a, give me a chopper. Speaking of choppers, can you guys rocket that or no? I got a, uh, I got, I got artillery. That's dropped artillery. Oh, that's a six, not a D. Well, how did he get E? I was here. Come on, bro. Get that out of here. There's a guy up inside. Yo, what guns are they? I feel like they kind of hurt more than mine. Good try. Well, Curtis, we played great. Obviously, this was our teammates' fault. Wasn't on us. Uh, but with them taking the blame, Rocket Kit is still coming through with the codes. The promo code is Curtis Samuel. So, gamers, use this code while you can between now and Sunday, December 27th, when that code expires. Curtis, you have fun, though? I had a great time. You know, as all I do is play the game. You know, So be able to come on the show. I uh, appreciate y'all for having me. You know, I had a great time. It was awesome, Curtis. We powered through those games. Shout out to Rocket for hooking us up with the headsets. But now it's time for review and rating.
Curtis, it's that time of the show where we talk in depth about the game modes and maps we just played, but know nothing about. So I'll let you start. What do you like about Cold War multiplayer so far? And I want to hear it all. The pros, the cons, and the meh. Uh, the pros about the game, um, you know, just being able to use different weapons. I, I like the fact that they made the uh, AK-47. It's not too much recoil with the AK. You know, people love using the AK, but last year it was kind of because of the recoil. Um, the Craig 6 was, is, is a, uh, a pretty good gun. Uh, I, li I like the Craig 6. Um, I feel like sniping is a little... Uh, it's so-so. It's you know, the, uh, sniping is so-so. The MP5 is pretty good this year, which I like. The AUG, I feel like, made a big jump from last year to this year. A big jump. I don't feel like it was as good last year, but uh, I think the AUG is, is much better this year. Um, maps... Um, I feel like the maps is better. My only thing with, about Call of Duty with making maps, it, it was too many ways and too many spots for people to camp. There right. was too many entrances into buildings and different areas for guys to sit up. So, you know, like I just want a straight for uh, just a flat map, you know, left side, right side through the middle. I don't want too many other different angles, too much places for people to sit up, you know, um, cartel. You know, it's, it's, it's a different map, but I like smaller maps. I feel like they did a good job at that. Um that snow map, it's kind of tough because I feel like you invite a bunch of snipers, mm -hmm. um, which not everybody enjoys playing against snipers all the time. Tanks is a little different for me. I'll be honest. Tanks, I'm not a big fan of tanks. Not a fan of the tanks, huh? Keep those in Battlefield. Because I just feel like, you know, it's, no, it's, it's scale gap. You know, a guy can just run around in the tank all day and just shoot RPGs. You know, that, that's kind of annoying. My rage meter would really go high if I really was like, you know, <laughs> you know, so, but. I feel like um, adding the little bikes, the little snowmobiles, you know, I feel like that's pretty dope. You know, just you want to get out there and, and get into action right away rather than running a mile before you can see anybody. I hear that. With all that said, what is the final verdict? If you gave it a, a score on a 1 to 100 scale, where does the multiplayer fall and why? Multiplayer? Uh, I feel like out of 100, you said, right? Yeah. One to one hundred. One to one hundred. Give it a 65, 70. 65, 70. I feel like they're going to spend most of their time because, you know, games is changing now. It's developing. Multiplayer isn't the way to go nowadays with gaming. It's all about Battle Royale. I feel like that's the future of gaming, you know. Okay. So I feel like they're going to spend most of their time working on this Battle Royale, and that's where they're going to keep most of their players in the game. I hear you there, man. Well, for me, Fireteam Dirty Bomb was awesome. It was like the perfect hybrid of what we were playing with the regular traditional Treyarch multiplayer games and then Warzone. You get a little bit of both. It's fast paced, forgiving. We got lots of times to drop back in there, but it also had those intense moments where you get the wipe, you get the detonation, you pull it off. So out of all the games we played, lose the domination. I never want to play a 10v10 domination again. No, Bring never. Me right back into that Dirty Bomb. That game mode was awesome. It also it only takes the same amount of time it takes me to heat up my pizza roll so I can finally be cooking some food without setting the house on fire or setting off our smoke alarms. So shout out to Dirty Bomb for not taking half the amount of time that Warzone normally does. On a scale of Call of Duty Ghost to Call of Duty Black Ops 2, though, I gotta give it a Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Not quite perfect, still damn good. Treyarch, you did an excellent job once again, despite the pandemic. Curtis, thank you so much for being on the show tonight. We had an absolute blast. And next time when you're on the show, I'm bringing the pizza rolls over to your spot. We'll play split screen on your big theater screen, and we'll, uh, we'll get it locked in. We got a deal? Oh, that's a bet. We could do that. Awesome, man. Thank you so much again, and be good over the holidays. Much love to you and your family. Thank you. Same to you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Curtis Samuel. <laughs> Curtis Samuel is killing it both on the field and in Call of Duty multiplayer. You can catch number 10 this Sunday against the Washington football team. And make sure to tune into his live stream at twitch.tv slash KurtCo underscore 10 for his postseason gaming sessions. If you haven't already hit the follow button on Twitter, do it right now. It's Curtis Samuel 4 underscore and his Instagram is over at Curtis underscore Samuel 4. It's that time of the show for me to go home and play. Cyberpunk! Yeah, that's right! I've been playing as a street kid, I've got enough cash, and tonight we upgrade these metal arms, baby!
Rocket, thanks as always for sponsoring the show and providing that acoustic audio perfection. Make sure to go home and watch this everywhere, including the usual suspects on YouTube and Twitch, and stay up to date through our social channels on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you really want to see who's coming up next on the show, you can do it right now over on thegamerhour.com. For Royal Studio in Times Square, New York City, I'm Chris Puckett. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that checkout button on your last minute Amazon carts, and we'll catch you next week for another episode of the Gamer Hour.